Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. Another mnemonic video, another memory based mnemonic video which will help you to understand the intrinsic conduction system of heart and also the ECG of human body jointly with the help of this small video under 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, I will teach you how to remember the individual events of the heart's contraction and relaxation cycle along with the different phases of the ECG, different graph stages of the ECG, P, P, Q, R, S, T, all of it. Okay, so stay tuned and try to understand. So intrinsic conduction system, this is what we'll talk about as well as ECG, that's what we're going to talk about. And the very first, obviously we have mnemonic for you. We have this mnemonic for you. Uh, so the mnemonic that I have here, I'm going to write it down. Uh, I've listed this for you and that is the advertisement advertisement video advertisement video on PVR cinema restroom this is all you need to know kind of weird and I like building this weird uh, mnemonics because this weird mnemonics will stay with you the more weird it is, it's going to stay for a long time. So, advertisement video on PVR cinema restroom. In the restroom of PVR cinema, there are adver advertisement video of something is going on. If you remember this, you will understand the different stages of the intrinsic conduction system, different stages of heart's uh, different part of the heart, the contraction and relaxation of it. Okay. So, among this whole, uh, what you need to fix, figure out is this AD. We need to figure out this uh, VD, okay? We need to figure out this P, we need to figure out this VR and the restrooms rest. These are the things that you need to focus. That's all. That's all you need to focus. So, you have advertisement video on PVR cinema restroom or advertisement video playing on PVR cinema restroom. The important components are five of it, add AD, VD, P, VR and rest. Okay, so from this I will write it down, from this we will get AD, we will get VD, we will get P, we will get VR and we will get rest. We have these five components with it. So now I am going to assign the function to each of it. AD is remember atrial depolarization. Okay. I am not going to talk about what is depolarization, what is repolarization, hyperpolarization. We have separate videos on that, much more details. But this is how to remember that in quick time. So, AD means atrial depolarization. This is initial depolarization of the atria. Next is VD, is a ventricular depolarization. Ventricular depolarization is VD. And this is final ventricular depolarization so then we have p for plateau for ventricular action potential so there will be a plateau phase reached after the ventricular depolarization a plateau phase the electrical potentials plateau phase is reached for the ventricle uh, action potential. The overall ventricle action potential plateau phase is reached for P. Then we have VR, ventricular repolarization. Got it? And the last one is a resting state. And resting state means obviously, what do you mean by resting state? Uh, let's take green here. The resting state is when the atria and ventricle both both are in diastole the the time that is between the ventricular and atrial diastole that time frame that time gap that is the resting state that's what we need to understand so ad vdp vr rest that's what you know ad atrial depolarization vd ventricle depolarization p for plateau of ventricular action potential vr for ventricular uh, repolarization rest is a resting state now how can we assign how can we assign the different ecg graph or 
the phases of ECG that detects the different stages like atrial depolarization, ventricular depolarization, ventricular repolarization, how ECG detects it? Because in ECG graph, what we have, we have P wave Q R S, right? P, then we have Q R S, then we have S T segment. Right, then we have T. This is another wave time or time delay between the T and the next P. That is between T and the next P, the time delay. So these are the components of ECG. P wave, QRS complex, ST segment, T wave, and then the TP time delay. Now I am going to assign it with this. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now just place them. This is P. This is QRS. Sorry, this, this is QRS. Let me delete this for any confusion. Just a second. Okay. So, yeah. This is for P. This is QRS. This is ST segment. VR stands for T wave and this is for TP. P, Q, R, S, S, T, 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 P. So, A, D and P. So, P wave represents atrial depolarization. Clear? Now, you see how I am connecting it. Next one, Q, R, S complex denoting ventricular depolarization. S, T segment denotes play 2 of the ventricular action potential should be reached naturally. If it's not reached, if it's elevated, then that denotes myocardial infraction. Then we have T wave, ventricular repolarization denoted by T wave. And last, TP is a time delay present between another, so between the two separate or consecutive action potential generated in the heart. Two consecutive conduction system generated in the heart, that is the resting state. This is how you can easily tag along ECG components of the graph with the different events that take place during the process of intrinsic conduction system. One bonus point is also there here. So, I will also add this. Sachin avoids his punishment. Sachin avoids his punishment. This is another mnemonic. Now, why I put this mnemonic along with this topic here? This is a bonus tip for you. With this, you can understand the path through which the intrinsic conduction system of the heart propagates or the, uh, the action potential in the heart propagates. Right? How to remember? Sachin starts with SA, got it, avoids AV, his, bundle of his and punishment PU, okay, Parkinsy fiber, punishment actually PI, that is Parkinsy fiber. So, starting, this is the start point, sinoatrial node, okay. Then AV node, atrioventricular node, then bundle of his, and lastly, Parkinsy fiber. The last is Parkinsy fiber. So we have all this. So, this is the propagation step from SA node, it originates, this is the origin or firing station, SA node to AV node, from AV node to bundle of his, this is basically the pathway through which it spreads across the ventricle because ventricle is more muscular, so it requires more nerve bundle to supply the action potential to that muscular ventricle, so it provided by bundle of his and ultimately 
Perkinsy fiber are distributed across the muscle area of the ventricle. So final distribution is done. Origin distribution, this is the end product. So start and end is mentioned. So these are the three separate mnemonics that I placed here for you. Three separate mnemonics. Remember, here we have this, uh, that advertisement video on PVR cinema restroom. This is one, only two mnemonics. This is the one and the second one is uh, Sachin avoids his punishment. If you remember these two, you can easily answer one or two part C questions from CSR net previous years that I have asked from this particular topic. So, you know, even with a practice of 10 to 12 minutes video like this, you can get enough knowledge to understand a topic that will stay with your brain for longer duration. This is a smart study. And if you wish to do such st smart study, you can join Shomu's Biology Online Coaching. The details are there at the end of the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.